These are six students fighting for the American. <laughs> Hello? How's everybody doing? Woo! 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 That's right! My name is Brian Lee, and you can call me a dreamer. Can I hear it for all the dreamers out there? Yeah. <laughs> First, before I start, I want to say thank you to the LA County Federation of Labor for leading us to stand in solidarity with the workers in Wisconsin, in LA, and across America. Thank you so much. I'm proud to join you with the National Korean American Service and Education Consortium, and as a member of the Korean Resource Center's student immigrant group, Akasha. This is the first time I'm sharing my story in public, and I am an undocumented immigrant. I'm an, undo I'm an undocumented student studying biology at UCLA. Go Bruins! When I was four, my single brought me from South, South Korea to the United States in hopes of a better future. I became undocumented when our lawyer took our money and ran off at the age of eight. But as a kid, I loved cartoons and TV show characters like Batman and specifically the Green Power Ranger. In the third grade, I met my first favorite teacher, Ms. Hokinson. She was such a good teacher because she just made class fun because of her high energy and her contagious smile. Yeah, teachers! And Go teachers! Go teachers! In fifth grade, I met my first lifelong friend, Jonathan, who's, on, who's in the audience with me today. Then in middle school, Middle school was the first time I wrote that five paragraph essay that everybody has to write, and mine was on Martin Luther King Jr. As a high school freshman, 
I had, heard, I had first heard the shocking news of 9-11 from the radio playing on the yellow school bus, school bus that took me to school every day. In sophomore year, I signed up to be a part of student government at my high school. It was also the year I asked, uh, I asked a girl out on a date for the first time. She said no, but that's okay. It's her loss. It's her loss. In junior year, I aced advanced United States history course and volunteered at the American Red Cross. And finally, in senior year, I became the president of the largest community service club on campus called Interact, was wide-eyed and looking forward to a rich college experience. Growing up in America, my identity, my personality, my values, my dreams, my soul was undoubtedly forged in the culture of this country. Just like my U.S. citizen friends, I am as American as you can get. But like so, but like so many undocumented immigrant students, my future is compromised by the lack of opportunities that my peers with papers readily receive. The lack of a nine-digit number holds me back from a higher education, a good job, and a career. I've been financially independent since I graduated high school six years ago, and I still haven't been able to finish college because I could not afford it. My dream to become a dentist is alive, but distant. That is why I am an advocate for the undocumented student community and the long overdue Dream Act. The bill, the Dream Act is a bill that provides a pathway to legalization for students like me who got trapped in a broken immigration system early in their lives. Injustice towards immigrants is yet just one part of the many inequalities that we face today. As I speak, many programs and public services strengthening our communities and our families are facing the chopping block when we need them the most. Teachers, nurses, and construction workers in Wisconsin are fighting their, are fighting the loss of their collective union bargain, bargaining rights while immigrants are being wrongfully accused for taking American jobs. I join you today because we cannot accept the status quo and we cannot let attacks against American values go unchallenged. Woo! I recall that part of what it means to be an American, which is to have equal opportunities and equal rights. Yeah. Don't we all have a right to have a good job with respect and dignity? Yes. We all have a right to pursue our dreams. Woo! So I continue to fight to fulfill my dream. I stand here not only to share my story, but also to send this message to the national, state, and local leaders watching us right now. We as a collective whole are still paying attention, still organizing, and still rallying for the rights that we deserve. So let's continue to work together to hold the so-called leaders and policymakers of our nation accountable in serving our country and caring about our communities first. Thank you. Brian Lee, Brian Lee. And now, while we set the stage for Ozo Motley.